so far we have created a floor plan using AutoCAD and after that what I did is I made a copy with the name of Dialex import and then what I did is I deleted everything that is extra I deleted hatches I deleted dimensions and I'm going to import the Dialex import file that I saved with the name of Dialex import and I deleted these things to reduce the file size now let's just click on import plan or IFC and I'm going to search for the file Dialex import After this, it is going to ask me for uh, deciding the X and Y axis, the orientation basically of the plan. So let me demonstrate what it means to be selecting the orientation of the plan. Say for example, if here I give the orientation in such a way that I make the X axis in the vertical dimension. When I extend the line, then the line which is extended and gives you the red line is the x-axis as can be seen on the left side. So if I give the x-axis in the vertical direction, then my orientation of this plan would be reversed, you may say, or it will be rotated. This is also uh, okay, but I don't want my orientation to be in this direction. In this way, I want my original orientation. So I will re-import my plan. And I'll make the x-axis in the same direction as it is. That is towards the right. So let's just define the axis here towards the right. This is my original axis. After specifying the origin, I it would ask me about the scale. So for th I need to know the exact dimension of a particular area. Say for example, this washroom has the inner contour of 5 feet. Now I am going to select units as foot and then I am going to trace the inner contour of this washroom. And then I am going to input the measured length into 5 feet. That is, I am going to change the measured length to 5 feet. Now let's specify scale. So I am going to trace it once again. And when I am checking the measured length and change to length, they are same. Now this has been seen. Now you may see that in this top construction tab you have so many side options so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select site and I'm going to draw the outer contour of my house for closing the polygon you will have to right click and then select close polygon now go to the building and story option and from here select draw new indoor contour and I'm going to make this parking area first right click close polygon and after this I'm selecting draw new room and I'm going to trace out all the rooms. This is my main hall. And let's repeat the same with the rest of the rooms. Right click, close body on and it would keep reminding you to save your project and it is a good practice to be saving your project 
even if you are working on a laptop because your laptop battery might fail or this program might hang so there is this option of uh, isometric view you may switch to this option and you can see what you have made so far so so far it is so good but you can see that I have made a mistake here that I have made this from rectangle this is not rectangle so I'm going to delete this and I'm going to trace it all over again also uh, let's trace the real shape of this room I am just clicking the corners, just draining the corners and it would make the shape itself. Now let's make this washroom. Just clicking on the corners and it is going to pick the corners itself. Clicking on the corners. Now let's just switch to isometric view and let's see what we have made so far. So this is what we have made so far. This laundry area, although it is not a room, for the sake of simplicity, I am going to consider this a room for now. So let's just make a room for this laundry area as well. Although this is not going to have a roof over it, but I am making it as a room. So let's just switch to the side. I am seeing I was seeing the front view and here is the isometric view and this is the floor plan view that is the top view. And this is the last room that is remaining the washroom. And I think it is complete now. This is how my room, my house looks like. And the isometric view. Let's just again switch to the top view, the floor plan view. From this option I can change the names of the rooms which are by default given the names room 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and I want to name the rooms as I originally named them so in order to know the real names of the selected areas let's just select the random room say for example from here I am selecting this room and then I am going to switch to the ISO view and in this ISO view, room 7 can be seen as the kitchen here. So I'm going to rename room 7 as kitchen. Now for naming the other rooms, let's, let's just select room 10 from this rooms. And as the shape suggests, this is the main hall as main hall had a unique shape. And for selecting or for naming the rest of the rooms, I'm going to switch to the story mode here. And if you select the story mode and you just click on the random rooms from this list view. So if I switch to room 11, this is my main washroom or washroom main. And if I switch to room 12, this is bedroom 2.
I can rename this to bedroom too and if I switch to room 13 this is the laundry area and this is the last washroom so my rooms has been renamed as they were the last one is the parking area or parking and now let's just see what else we can add in this house from this construction tab and there we have an option of uh, adding apertures of beams of columns of roofs and of furniture so let's just see what uh, we have in roofs we have these type of roofs and we are going to add these if you are going to have a custom roof but for now we are not adding a roof and when we make a room inside a contour an external contour a roof is automatically made in here so I'm not adding a roof in this house let's just go to the apertures and I'm going to select a window from this from the select options I can see uh, the available options so let's just go to the windows that we have so uh, we have so many options and I am I have selected the standard window that is of single glass pane and as I have uh, a window in my original floor plan drawing so I am adding an active aperture So let's just add an active aperture here of single glass pane. This was the window that was of single glass pane. And then I'm going to select the window that is going to be of two. So let's just search for it. I am selecting this one and I am inserting this in my floor plan. okay i have added all the windows now apertures includes doors as well so i am selecting a door this door seems fine or this door or this door let's make a comparison as we can see the dimensions and the uh, apertures tab on the left by clicking on all the doors so I can easily make a comparison of their words and the goal here is to find the door that is of the same dimensions that we made in our floor plan so I am using this one for the doors that open up or the swinging doors and I'm going to use another one for the sliding doors so I am going to select mm, I think I saw a door with the same dimensions this one this one has the dimensions closer to the one that we use here in the sliding doors so let's just add these as the sliding doors here Now that I have added all the doors, let's have a look at what we have got so far. So yes, we have made a floor plan with all the apertures in it and we are going to cover the rest in the next video. That is all from today and in next videos we are going to see how to light this project.